what is going on guys welcome back to another video and today we are back with subnautica but it's modded i guess you want to say um yeah we are back with this um i've actually wanted to get back to this for a little while now because i don't know i just kind of abandoned it but yeah we're gonna continue on with this little series and there's some things that i added all right so the first thing i have here is um a map so here we go we find we have a map now uh so we can see we can unlock our map actually in the future here another mod that i've added that i have no idea if it's working or not is um more speed modules for um the sea moth the cyclops and the prawn suit so we have speed modules for them to make them faster so we're gonna see if that works in the future but, um, I did add a, like, a, a rifle of some sort that could help me take on some of the Leviathans, but I don't know if that mod is working. We will have to see if some of these mods are working. Um, so what I think, I have no idea what we're going to do here today, actually. Um, what I do remember is that our, uh, Sea Moth was flung somewhere into Oblivion, so we're going to have to make a new one of them. So let's go ahead and find our uh, mobile vehicle bay and see if we can make ourselves a new sea moth here. Probably should move my mobile vehicle bay on the closer to our area here. Um, all right, so I really hope my mods aren't broken. I have no idea if they're operating or not. Well, I know the map mod is working. So that one is working. Um, mobile vehicle bay. I have no idea where that is. Okay, so this is a little eerie. That there's like nothing going on right now. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, our mobile vehicle bay. Oh, okay. No, our mods are still working. We're still working here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Go ahead and uh, dismantle that. Okay, so hearing that Leviathan means my mod's still working. I wasn't sure because it was getting a little it was a little quiet here. Um let's go ahead and head up to this thing right here. Probably gonna pick it up and bring it above our house now. Oh, um, oh my what the heck was that? Oh the thing, okay. Piece of trash. Um Let's go ahead and bro Ow, you stupid junk. Can I harvest this? Yes, we can. Okay, and then we're going to take this to our base down here. So yeah, I kind of added the speed upgrades to the submarines because with all these leviathans that are going to be and uh, creatures that are going to be destroying us all the time, we're gonna need some speed to get away from them, so I was like, I need some uh, mods that can help me uh, survive what I've gotten myself into here, so that's why I got myself those mods. So let's go ahead and get this guy, plop this thing down. Uh, we need, I think we already have a power cell for this thing. Um, I already have this unlocked, it must be because... Um, I don't know. Um, why do I? Have, why is all this unlocked already? Well, the prawn suit I unlocked in there. Okay, that's good. I don't know why I have the Neptune rocket. Probably because I beat the game already. So we need two glass lubricant, lead, and titanium ingot. All right. So we need. We have enough to make one glass. Unless there's more in here. Nope. Junk. Um. Glass. We have lubricant. Make lubricant. There's a lubricant. We need a lead and titanium ingot. Let's go ahead and make ourselves this glass. And we got lead and titanium ingot we need. So I think we need like, oh, whatever, we'll just take all this titanium. Let's see. Nope, we can't make it yet. 
how many do we need? Um, ten, and we have eight, so we gotta go get some more titanium. Holy cheeks, is Darko here? A little sketchy. Let's see if we can find some uh, titanium here. Sorry, I'm always looking for titanium in this game. Right, there's a moon pool fragment. What is this? Is this another moon pool fragment? Maybe this will give us some titanium. No, this is Cyclops hull. Uh-oh. Getchy. Is this another Cyclops hull fragment? bridge fragment i think we already got so there we go we got our titanium uh oh i'm gonna die uh oh where's my bait oh it's right there okay straight ahead let's get there it is so sketchy not having my uh sea moth here all right let's go let's get in here get some oxygen make this uh titanium ingot There we go. We got our titanium ingot. Now let's go up here and go make ourselves our new sea moth. And hopefully we don't lose this one. All right, what are we missing? Oh yeah, glass junk. I need to go get some uh, ports. Right, let's see what we got on the map here. What is this? Alien vent. Okay, so we're opening our map here more. We got wreckages here. Yeah, I kind of added the map. Just so you got, Because I know the map myself. I just want you guys to be able to know what I'm talking about when I'm uh, going places. So that's why I added that. Alright, so let's fill up on our oxygen here. And let's go ahead and... Go ahead and grab some quartz. I mean, I could disassemble that... Uh, what do you call it? That solar panel there. But I kind of want to use that base as just like a... Hemp base there. I think I need to make a blueprint or a uh, beacon as well to mark our other base because I keep losing it. Okay, that guy kind of scared me. I thought it was a uh, a reaper for a second. We just need to collect some quartz here. And that's just great. I ran out of batteries and um, I have none. So this is going to be a long swim back when I have to go back. Right, there we go. We got our quartz. Let's get back home. I put the battery from my scanner into my Seamoth because I was like, screw, coming all the way back. Um, let's try to avoid that guy. We're gonna head back. We're gonna make a beacon. And we're also going to... Actually, I need to get oxygen. I am not gonna make it, I don't think. Yeah, we're gonna make a beacon, and we're also probably gonna make a, uh... uh, uh vehicle docking bay, whatever you want to call it. I'm stupid, just... Bear with me here. Alright, so what we want is... Another piece of glass. And then now we can make our sea moth. So let's go ahead and... Climb back up here. Climb up here for the 850th time. And we want to go ahead and make our sea moth. Good, good, good. Alright. And then we're going to make a beacon. And also a... What did I say? Literally, I just had it. Um, The mobile vehicle. No, it was stupid moon pool. The moon pool. That's what I'm going to make. I'm stupid. We really gotta get a bigger habitat, but I'm gonna wait till we get to... Oh gosh, I don't know. We need to get um, down into the caves with the eels and stuff like that, so... We gotta hold off on that. Um, can you guys be quiet? You guys are a little loud there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our building tool out. Jeez Louise. This game is so loud. Like, holy cow. Let's get this moon pool out. I think we'll put it right here. 
I cannot hear myself think right now. Like, I literally am getting my eardrums blown off. Alright, so we need to go on a quest for a poop ton more titanium because we need two titanium ingots. And what else do we need? Lubricant and lead. We have the lead. We need two lubricants or just one? Okay, we just need one. Let's go ahead and fly over to this, um... Oh, we don't need our sea moth right now. Go ahead and head over to the kelp forest that's over here. That's next to the reaper. And snag ourselves some creep vine clusters. Seed clusters. Or we'll snag ourselves some of that. Is there any, like, um... Sh scraps in here? Well, there's some. Give me that. What is in here? Nothing. Uh, what is that? That's an animal. Okay. Maybe I'll look around for some more scraps real quick. Ouch. Holy cow, I'm about to die. I need to get back home. We need to get a fabricator for um, health kits going so we can get unlimited health kits. Do I have one in my inventory? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm just going to go home and uh, get to my Seamoth and we'll get some more titanium somewhere else. Alright, if I did my calculations correct, I should have enough and some extra titanium to be able to make this junk and then hopefully a beacon. Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and grab all this titan- we don't have enough room, let's go ahead and make our ingots first. Come on! There we go. And there we go, two titanium ingots. Let's go ahead and build this puppy up. And we need some lead. The good thing is, is when we need diamond and stuff like that, we literally live next to so many uh, diamond outcrop things, is that we'll be real good on diamond. Um, there we go. Got ourselves our moon pool. Looking beautiful. I really should download the mod that repairs my stuff when I park it into the the moon pool here and I honestly should look up some armor upgrades for my uh, submarines as well because I'm just now realizing how much damage they take when I run into things so all right let's go ahead and make this junk uh, beacon so we can tell where our house is all right lady you don't have to speak every second oh the beacons in the in here Okay, where's this beacon? Okay, deployable beacon is a titanium and copper. I believe we have all that. Watch, we don't have copper. Oh, we have plenty of copper. And there we go. Beacon fragment, or I mean not fragment, uh, a beacon crafted. Go ahead and throw it out and name it home we name you it's the home okay oh I'm stupid what is making so much noise over there I don't like where that is go over here okay home Okay, there we go. There we go, beautiful. Now let's look at our map. I don't know if it tells us on our map. No, it probably doesn't. But there we go, we've been unlocking some more of our map here, which is awesome. Can't wait to unlock more of it. I actually really like that map, it's kind of cool. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, I don't, it's probably going to be a little bit of a shorter video, but I just wanted to get something out for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, in the next video, we're probably going to be going down to the Jelly Shroom Caves. And probably going to be getting wrecked. So I'm going to probably look up some uh, mods for 
armor for my submarine because actually we probably won't even be able to upgrade it right now so but i'm still gonna probably look up armor mods for submarines because how much damage they take so if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video